lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. Thou art the King of Israel, thou David's royal Son, who in the Lord's name comest, the King and Blessed One. The peace of Christ be with you. And you can say, thank you. Well, people of God, this is Pastor Stephen at St. Paul's United Church of Christ in Amityville. And it is Sunday morning, April 5th, Palm Sunday. And we have plenty of palms right here. And we saw people through the week coming by the church to pick up their palms. So if you have the, yours Make sure you have them. We're gonna have a place for you to use them a little bit later. In fact, how about a little practice right now? So I'm gonna say, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, and then I'll say it again, and then I'll ask you to join me in the last one. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Okay, you're practiced for later. And now you can share the peace with those who are around you. And say, the peace of Christ be with you. A couple of announcements. I want to thank Joe and Sue Chikloski for all the work they've been doing to help us to go online with these services. And we're going to do something different Thursday night. 7 o'clock, Monday, Thursday service, will be broadcast live. This one is pre-recorded, but we will go live at 7 o'clock on Thursday, and we will also go live at 10.30 on Sunday morning, Easter Sunday. Both of those services will include the liturgy of the Lord's Supper, of Holy Communion, and if you have bread and juice or wine on hand, you can have those to share in our virtual worship. This is virtual worship. It is something new to us. It's because of the time of the quarantine, but we're finding that God is blessing us even though physically we have to be separated. There is also a downloadable bulletin online for this service, and there will be one for the other services. You can go to our church website, and you can see the website right here, and toward the bottom of it, there will be... uh, something you can click on to get the bulletin for any of these services as they come up. Now let's worship the Lord. There is strength in the name of the Lord. There is power in the name of the Lord. There is hope in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Will all who are able stand? Hear the word of the Lord from Psalm 118, verses 22 and 23. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Awake to the day of triumph for our Savior. Give thanks for this day that leads to the cross. Come with your branches, hosannas, and songs. Fill the air with welcome to the Lord. Hosanna, hosanna, hosanna. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Let us face this day of palms and Jesus' passion with honesty confessing our sin before God. Let us confess our sin in silence.
and let us confess our sin together. Most merciful God, we confess that we are in bondage to sin and cannot save ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and follow in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. People of God, you are loved, and as a minister of the United Church of Christ, I declare to you, in Christ you are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Now let us unite with the church in all times and places in confessing our faith in the triune God using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Holy God, you reveal the truth about your people and the ways of our world in the suffering of the Son and in his steadfast love. Show us again the image of humility you desire for us and teach us obedience so that self-emptying may be our pathway through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today our special music will be presented by our Minister of Music, Martha Sittler, with Andy Heimel, who will sing, I Walked Today Where Jesus Walked.
Let your word, O God, break open our hearts this day through the power of the Holy Spirit that we may enter into the coming Holy Week with the same mind that was in Christ Jesus. Amen. There are two scripture readings today. The first one comes from the Psalms. Psalm 118 We'll do the first two verses, and then we'll continue with verses 19 to 29. They are a processional psalm. They were to be sung by pilgrims who were coming into Jerusalem, coming to worship at the temple, and it was something, something of a parade, and uh, it's the kind of thing that might have been sung when Jesus made his way many years later to the temple and to the the walls of Jerusalem. Listen to the word of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say his love endures forever. Open for me the gates of the righteous. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give thanks for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord, we bless you. The Lord is God, and he has made his light shine on us. With bows in hand, join in the festal procession up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is God. His love endures forever. Did you hear some of the words that might have been said when Jesus was approaching Jerusalem. Festal, bows in hand, some kind of branches were in hand, and it was praise to God and blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Our final scripture is the gospel passage from Matthew that tells the story of that first Palm Sunday. Let's listen to Matthew 21, verses one through 11. As they approached Jerusalem, they came to Bethphage, to the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, go to the village ahead of you and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet, say to the daughter of Zion, see your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. The word of God for the people of God. 
Thanks be to God. The biggest thing I want to share with you today is about the word Hosanna. It's a word that we use often. We use it every Palm Sunday, and I think it works out, Martha, into pretty much every hymn that we're singing today, right? And we also use it in the communion liturgy. So on Thursday night and on Sunday morning, Thursday at 7, Sunday at 10.30, when we share in the Lord's Supper, there is a part that we sing that includes the word Hosanna. If you think that Hosanna is an ancient Hebrew word, much like hallelujah, an ancient Hebrew word, which means praise God or praise to Jehovah or to Yahweh, which is what it really is, if you think that they are the same, I would understand that, but you would be mistaken. They are different. How are they different? Well, hallelujah means praise to God, and there was a lot of hallelujahs, a lot of praise to God in that Psalm 118. But Hosanna is a very specific word which has the feeling of save us or even help us. So when the people were along the the banks as Jesus was coming up on the donkey and they saw him coming, they were not just saying, praise God, they were saying, save us, help us. Why would they be saying that? Well, they were people who knew what it was like to live under an oppressive government, the Roman government at that time. And everything they did was watched. And if they stepped out of line or if they rebelled too much, they were squashed. In fact, from time to time, they would see that horrible Roman instrument of torture, a cross, and they would see someone dying an agonizing death, or after they were dead, they would see their lifeless body hanging on that cross so that all who passed by there could see. Just think if it was like that in our landscape that you would see people publicly dying or would see their bodies laying around or hanging up for all to see. It would be spooky, it would be scary, it would be oppressive. That's the kind of world that they lived in. They lived in a world in which Caesar had all the power and he basically stomped around all of the nations that were uh, touching the Mediterranean Sea. And wherever he could go, wherever he could send soldiers, they had to bow to him and they had to pay huge taxes to him and to the Roman Empire. They were crying out for a change. They were looking for some kind of rest. They were looking for possibly someone who could overthrow the government or someone who would have a different approach to leading. All they saw was the kind of power that the Romans had, the Roman soldiers exhibited, and the few Jewish people that were in cahoots with them seemed to just go along with it. And then they had heard about a different person. They heard about an itinerant preacher, someone going from town to town and not making a big splash in the big cities, but really starting out in the, in the outdoors and in the smaller villages. And stories were spreading that this person had a very different kind of message, and he talked about God's kingdom, and he talked about his own kingdom, and We can understand if they thought maybe he was preparing to overthrow the Roman government. They also would have heard stories of him performing miracles, feeding 5,000, and healing people. He was no ordinary prophet just with a message, but he also had the power to back up the kinds of things he was saying. And his message was so unlike anything else they had heard or were hearing at that time. And in his famous Sermon on the Mount, he praised those who were meek and said they would inherit the earth. Could this be the person they were looking for? So now they heard rumors that he was coming toward the city. Maybe some of them had been in those villages 
and it had seen him face to face and it had experienced his miracles. They were with friends and family who they'd told about and now about this Jesus and now they hear that he's coming and their excitement is building and they start to join in a chant and they just joined in the words they already knew because they were familiar with these psalms. Just like there are all sorts of songs that are in the, the backs of our minds that if we started to sing them, people would know. Old Lang Syne, Happy Birthday. There are a lot of songs that if you hear someone start them, you know how to sing along. But this was a song that was praising someone who could save them. Someone who could rescue them. And so the words that really resonated were Hosanna, which did not mean praise God, it meant save us, help us, come to our rescue, we need you. And so they shouted Hosanna, Hosanna, over and over again. And they said, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They'd heard that he spoke about the Lord. He came in the name of the Lord, and it seemed he was just fit for that song. And so they sang it and they praised him. But more than praising, they were asking for his help. That world is so different from ours in some ways, but in other ways, isn't it amazing that we're at a time where we're calling out, God, help us. God, save us. We need you. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And so we can be forgiven if we want to take the palms and, sh- and share them and say, Hosanna in the highest. Praise be to the one who comes in the name of the Lord. I originally had planned to have these handed out to children who are going to share these in this way. If there are children in your household, this would be the time, if they have not already done it, for them to be waving those palms. Because in this time of quarantine, in this time where there is an invisible foe, this coronavirus, COVID-19, we need to call on God. In the newsletter article, I asked you to do three things. One is to keep connected by calling and connecting with people. Another is to stay home. And the other one is to pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for your loved ones. Pray for your church. Pray for your nation. Pray for the world. God, save us. That's a prayer God will hear. And we can trust that God will answer. And I see God working and saving us. How do I see God's hand? I see God's hand in 13 individuals who volunteered, who enlisted to be part of a care team. And they're calling people. And they're making connections. And I'm hearing some of the stories of the conversations that they're having. I see God's hand in people like Carrie Coon, who just asked if he could get some more palms to give to another church. And I said, sure. And he's looking for ways to share the love of God through simple prepackaged foods for his ministry on common ground with the homeless in Reading. I see God's hand in people that are giving what they have. I shared a story in our vlog a couple days ago about a very dire need for housing for someone. And I saw people move forward. And I see people wanting to help. I talked with Marsha Pingator from our missions committee. And she is just thinking all sorts of ideas where we can be a blessing to the community, blessing to people that might be overlooked, blessed to people, a blessing to people who need food. Just out here where people were pulling up and taking palms and having conversations at a safe distance with other people, I see God working and answering and saving. It's an unprecedented time, and it's a time where we see that God's Spirit is not, is not held back, 
is not bound by physical dimensions. God is in us and around us and working. Praise be to God. And let's continue to call out, Hosanna, help us. Hosanna, save us. Hosanna, come to our rescue. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Say it with me. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Amen. Big surprise, our next hymn is Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name with hearts full praise be exalted my lord my god hosanna in the highest as we come to a time of prayer i will share in some of the prayer concerns that we've shared for the last two weeks a, a prayer that i found in Christianity today, and it occurs to me that the response we could have to each prayer would be, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, because every one of these prayers is asking for God's help. Let us pray. O Lord God, we pray for the sick and infected. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. For our vulnerable populations, we pray. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray for the young and strong that they would be cautious. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray for local, state, and federal government officials. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray for our scientific community. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray for those who work in media. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We we pray for those with mental health challenges that they would get support. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray for the homeless for protection. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray for Christian missionaries throughout the world. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray for workers in a variety of industries facing layoffs and financial hardship. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray for families with young children at home. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray for parents who cannot stay home from work but must find care for their children. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray for those in need of regular therapies and treatments. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray for business leaders making difficult decisions. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray for pastors and church leaders faced with brand new challenges. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
We pray for college and university and high school, middle school, and elementary school students. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray for Christians in every neighborhood, community, and city. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray for frontline health care workers that you would keep them safe and grounded and supported. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We also lift up the names of a few people that we know especially need your help and care right now. We lift up Jennifer, Gail, Ron, Scott, Sandy, Mike, Deanna, Ozzie, Kathleen, Ashley, Tom, Greg, Helen, Amy, Connie, Peggy, Robert, and Jonathan. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We lift up others now in our silent prayers. And if we're with others in our homes, we can say their names out loud to you. And we pray the prayer Jesus taught his followers to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, all that we are and all that we have comes from God. Therefore, let us offer ourselves and our tithes and our time to God. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. O gracious God, we offer ourselves to you for your service. We also offer our time, our treasures, our talents, and our creativity for the furthering of your kingdom. Amen. Hosanna, loud Hosanna, the little children sing. Through pillared court and temple, the lovely anthem ring. To Jesus who had blessed them, close folded to his breast, the children sing their praises, the simplest and the best. So receive the benediction, people of God, whether you have palms with you or not. You're in a position to make a difference in the world by a number of things, but among them is praying. Pray for your community. Pray for health. Pray for a victory against this coronavirus. And may the blessings of God be with you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.